now is three years old, I was diagnosed with autism. You're probably wondering, what is autism? How is it a disability? What does it do to you? Autism is known as a complex developmental disability. Experts believe that autism presents itself during the first three years of a person's life. The condition is a neurological disorder that has an effect on normal brain function, affecting the development of a person's communication and social interaction skills. There is currently no cure for autism. Did you know that nobody knew about autism until the 1940s? It was around then, Judas wasn't a name for it yet. Then two different doctors, Dr. Kanner and Dr. Asperger, each started thinking about seven things the patients had in common. Some didn't, some didn't speak, and some were very good with numbers and patterns, but all of them seemed to be living in a world of their own, hardly noticing people around them. Both these doctors looked at their patients and came up with the word autism, which in Greek means self. Now you're probably wondering, how did people find out I was diagnosed? When I was in preschool, my teacher saw that I was acting different than other kids, and that my speech was a little unclear. She told my mother that I should get tested. There are five parts of the test. The first one they do is a parent interview, so they can give the doctors the information they need. Then there's the, the medical exam, which is a bunch of lab testing. Then there's also the observation. During my observation, a bunch of people came to my preschool and took notes on how I reacted with other children. And lastly, this was a little hard to explain, but when I was being tested, my mother took me to this place where kids with autism or other communication disabilities couldn't interact with each other, and that other people could take notes of me. Finally, they confirmed that I had autism. I took occupational therapy until grade five and speech therapy until grade three. As you might know, people with autism often have speech issues and they often have to get speech therapy so people, so people can understand them. Some people with autism cannot speak all their lives. People with autism are also sensitive to sounds, smells, and touch. For example, when I was little, I hated getting my hair brushed. People with autism also sometimes repeat things that other people say. Like when I was little, I apparently was going to Mexico, so I kept repeating, I'm going to Mexico 1,000 times. Also, there's ASD. ASD stands for Autism Spectrum Disorder. Autism and ASD mean the same, except ASDs are any developmental disability caused by the brain. People with autism also have obsessions. When people with autism have or find their passion, they can become amazing at it. Some people with autism can actually change the world with their passion. For example, Albert Einstein, he had autism. He couldn't talk until the age of three and still couldn't speak very well until the age of nine. All he was good was playing the violin. His grand school were terrible, and his teachers were often irritated with him. One school even drew him out. They thought he was hopeless. They were wrong. With me having autism, you may think that I'm not proud of it, and I'm ashamed that I'm different than our kids. Totally not true. The message that I'm trying to send to you today is that everyone has a flaw, and you may not be proud of it, but here's what I want you to do. Embrace the flaw. Be proud of who you are, and if you do that, you can change the world.